Good day, good folk. And today we travel to No Man's Wharf. Or at least that is what it's been called by some folk. Whew. Let's see. Oh, hmm. Oh, get on with it. Am I truly that far that his arrow experiences the gravity of the situation? Ah, a little quick bit of humor to get the mind. Oh. I might need to have a lie down if this goes on. Oh dear. This man's a fine shot. If he can hit me from such a fine distance. Although this sword, nice as it may be, is quite flimsy. Very flimsy. Sword's already practically falling to pieces. Oh, it only has but 20 shots in it. It's much weaker than my axe. I should have known when I was, you know... Busy. This axe, on the other hand, serves a fine. I wanted to use my soul gem, but I was too swift with my fingers and grabbed the wrong item. Now's the time for Estus. Now, I've heard some barking up ahead. Can I say that something odd is happening indeed? Every single time I reinforce anything other than my axe, it appears to lose every single bit of its power. I enhanced my chime, and it's... N oh! What is eating my powers, and why? Is it that I don't go back to the bonfire? <sighs> What a nasty fellow. I'm quite full of it. If all that maintains is my hand axe, I will have to look into this. Did, 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 did I get to... No. They appear to be the same. This is incredibly, incredibly infuriating. Just boiling, boiling with anger. And that wolf dog thing can stuff it. So glorious. Well, my mood is quite embittered by all this. Even my 
crossbow. No, no, my crossbow appears to be fine, although it's not as strong as I had it before. You are very thick, dear sir. Extremely thick. Thick as a brick. Then we have all these fine archers who believe themselves quite the fellows, I assume. Oh, my mood is just incredibly sour. Can I, can I not see this? I can see the man fine! Yet he appears to be entirely in... Oh dear. Well, we're not going up there right now. I can attest to that much. What even is this place? It appears to be a boating wharf of some description, but... It's hardly constructed by anyone with any dedication in mind. A scimitar. Oh, it's not an unwieldy blade, but it requires the hand of a... S no, not the hand of a smith, at least. I can assure you of that much. A brigand and a bandit's axe. Any better than mine? Much heavier than mine, that much is certain. And a brigand. Hm. Well, it's not too worse, but it's also quite light. And honestly... I quite appreciate something that's a little lighter. A brigand's hood. I look a bit foolish, though, but honestly, who am I to complain? Can I say that your plans, well, very nice, are not very thought out? All those bloody tight night shards wasted. Well then, let's see what this little charade is about. Ooh. A Pharos lockstone mounted squarely into the ground. Oh. It appears to have activated some sort of lighting device. Ooh, stones and the soul of a proud knight. Actually, I quite like these. They cover my legs and give me a heroic appear. Oh, this is a really nice light. Why would, uh, why would a bunch of vagrants have that installed? Seems to serve no purpose but the liquidity of the situation. Be gone, foul beast. I have no business with you, and vice versa. Well, if I ever seek to emit force... Oh, no. There you are. All safely squared away, I see. Well, I appear to be quite slick with oil. Doused in it, in fact. It's something I do not appreciate. I'm as combustible as it gets, and I feel much heavier, but then again... What does one expect being covered in such a heavy liquid? Is that a bell, I see? 
I fancy myself quite the archer. <laughs> I don't need your silly lever. Oh, the boat wasn't even in the harbour yet. Oh, there it is. And the oil appears to be wearing off as well. Slowly draining away from the cracks of this armour. Though I must say, I quite like the shininess. What was that a fancy for? Shiny materials. They added such power. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> this is bright! Oh dear me, that is bright! Yes, the oil slick is slowly wearing off. Homeward gem. Lifestone. Perhaps you can sell this like chums. Chums, of course, shoot at each other from atop the ladder. Some would call me coward for this technique, but... I have very few reservations. An enemy is an enemy, and victory is victory. Honor is perhaps for knights, but I am no knight. If I was a knight, I wouldn't be strolling around Drang Lake. Rotten place. The occasional nice architecture, sure, but rotten to the core is an apt description. The oil slick appears to have washed straight off me. Why did my shield not halt him? How did he bypass it like that? Snarly little fellow. One, two, up! Hello, dear poor soul. is not for long to stay around this place. So much faster than my own tools. Let's swap over to my chime. Cast a quick miracle of restoration! Oh, I always quite loved how priests insisted on their magics, and then then it came out that demons are the same as gods, and well, from that point forward... Let's say the church didn't have the support it perhaps wished it had. That is no posture, sir. Sir, uh, I won't even ask. Just tell me what you're doing here. Hmm. I sense very well. I am Carillion. Carillion of the foe. Now, now, do not be afraid. The forces of magic and soul, it is a fitting. I suspect sorcery is... Well, I already have access to some of it. Shortened spell casting time. Wouldn't... Well... I guess I could use some defense. And honestly, I have the finances. Simpleton Spice! What a curious item to be lugging around! Ooh. You have some very fascinating techniques here. 
Ah, a magical weapon, I see. That I wish, and perhaps one of these. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Young pupil, do not. Oh, I won't do so. I know the power of magic and the horrors it may bring. I wish I had that magic weapon technique with me right now. Because I feel I'm up for a fight right now. is mighty good. It's so sturdy and stable, very few can keep it at bay. Which gets a plus from me. Oh, what did he drop? An iron arrow. Well, another arrow in the pocket is always preferred. <sighs> I feel as if returning is the good idea, but... Indeed. Hmm. Let's see. If Lucatil offered her services around here, it would only make some logical sense that she would be around here somewhere. You know. Let's see. Where would I put my sign? Somewhere where many people would flow by as they sought their way to the ship. You know, as they say, many demon hunters. I wonder. Ah, look at you. Let us take off to the ship. I see use in investing in more attunement slots so that I may wield more of my potent spells. And I'm intrigued in this pyromancy. Very foreign art, to me at least. See, I've talked to some of the folk around the uh, Majula, and they insisted on there being an art called pyromancy. Apparently magic has lost touch with fire, and ever since they've moved on to pyromancy as a sort of replacement. Is she... is she confused? I'm over here, Miss Lucatil. You're only hurting yourself. Come on, let's keep those legs a-moving. Oh, a fire sword against a creature. Oh, I don't have a lot of good weapons. I mean, my axe is the best, and it's a little bit dodgy at, right now. Well, let's just hope I won't need... Oh, you know what? I'll use one of those repair powders. As good a time as any. Come on. Tap, tap. Put those feet to work. Let's see who lives in this quarter. The flexile se- Oh my goodness, there's two men on that thing! Why are there two folk? Why? That is not how men work. The water steadily rising. I feel as if I'm slowly drowning. Uh oh, he seems to have swapped mental sides. Uh oh, watch out, Lucatil! He's going in for the strike. 
May I say, Lucatil, your sword is quite fantastic. And your shield is better. Here. The final strike is for thee, Miss Lucatil. Oh, excuse me. Well, I bow to thee. Thank you. Thank thee for the help. Ah, I feel fresh once more. Ha ha ha! Victory to the blacksmith. This land is no match for any good adventurer if it is not even a match for a blacksmith. <laughs> but I need to see about my, as I said before, my, my, my waning abilities. Let's see what's in this fine chest. A pyromancy flame and a fireball technique. Now, I wonder what this is. It's a very fine looking contraption. They're very complex too. <gasps> the bell! Someone's sounding the bell, but who? But who? Oh, well. Maybe someone just wanted to say goodbye, as I apparently have activated the ship's sailing mechanism. But how does it sail without sails? How does it know where to go? Perhaps it's one of those fairy ships, you know, they have a big chain and someone tugs them back and forth. But I haven't seen a chain. It appears to have turned around entirely. I'm very concerned as to the circumstances. Uh. A hair fell on my tongue. The problems of a beard. Perhaps it's not a beard hair. Who knows these days? Let's see what's beyond door number one. Hmm. I thought I heard nobody, but didn't think there'd actually be nobody. A secret, I smell. My fine little nose. Hm. It's quite desolate so far. Ooh, another one of those strong life gems. But are filled with vim and vigor. Hmm. Lost Bastille is the name that. That man is dead, but he appears to be praying. This place is giving me the shivers. I am very, very careful and wary. Why are there so many people in these cells? Why is there a bonfire here? It's the last thing I expected to see in a place like this. Why? Why is there a huge chunk missing without a guardrail? And what is that? This place is quite mysterious. Oh look, it's one of those fine folk. Hmm. There's nothing good down this ledge. So how about we return to the bonfire and call it a night. Well, after picking up whatever that item was that was hidden. Because there must be something, right? Like, it's a perfect hiding space. Maybe of an escapee attempting to make his getaway. It's a little odd, unusual, but alas, sometimes it must happen. Nice chains, very strong and sturdy looking. Not as rusted as one would expect from a place like this. A scimitar, again? Why would I need two of these? And I found a repair powder, that's jolly with me. Well, let's return to Medulla and see if I can get that extra attunement slot. And see about that pyromancy flame, let's, let's look for it right now. Well, it, it doesn't weigh anything. Ha ha! It also has durability, apparently, meaning that I can eventually run out of flame 
if I just keep punching the walls. Well, it, it, I must. Uh, I, this would be quite useful if I ever want to pick up blacksmithing at the Blast Forge again. Considering it appears to burn my hand to crisps. I can't use it as much, but... Let's see about this fireball! Oh, look at that lob distance! <laughs> That's a fine projectile. Bearer of the... Seek, seek, lest this... Milady, I wish a way with which to enhance my slots. There we are. Fine, I said I would do some into vitality, and here we are. I have sufficient slots to carry a wild array of materials. Um, I want to see, though, how many of these do I get? Eight. Eight uses of this. Okay. Um, my axe in my hand. Um, and this flame, which doesn't weigh anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see about this. Oh, that's the wrong tool. Um... I still have my nimbleness, especially with this new armor. Let's see about this technique. Ah, that is a fine tool. Ooh, I like that fine bluish glow! Oh, too bad I have no one to test it on. Didn't I uh, acquire some more weapons? Let's see how they work. Hmm. Let's give it a shot. That's pretty fast. Difference is not as big as one might expect, but I do sense a bit of speed behind it, a bit more urgency, as they say. A ring of life protection. Hmm. Seems similar, but I haven't quite seen anything like it. Spell quartz ring, hmm. Increases my ability to. Well, alright. Well. Fine! And Dandy! <laughs> I'm contented! Well then, a mighty jolly adventure. How, how much would it cost for me to get one more level? Because it looks a bit silly, doesn't it? Ah, we only need a simple soul. Let us consume the one we found on that little dog. Madame, let me feel the vitality. Ooh, that feels a lot better. I wonder, though, that man didn't have any pyromancy, so who... Who does sell them? That is the question. Well, I'll see thee next time. Next time, whenever that is. And we will explore the Lost Bastille, whatever it is. A prison of sorts, it seems, where uncouth folk would likely be my friend. Oh no, we did see that man in bandages. There was a man in plenty of bandages. Enough to make a mummy. Wouldn't know why I'd want to be like that, but alright. I quite like this, though. Reminds me of an apron. Not apron, but an apron. <laughs>